Hey guys, it's Laura Liley, and while well, I'm really upset that there's not a new episode of Ruby out this week, I am excited that there is a new World of Remnant video, um, Between Kingdoms, again, narrated by our good friend Drunkle Crow, um, and it's supposed to be about how life is outside of the kingdoms, which I hope might give a little more insight to what happened in um, um, episode 2, Remembrance, um, and might give hints to Ren and Nora's backstory, but I don't know, so let's watch it. So, now you know more about the kingdoms, but what's between the big cities? All right, the easy answer is Rem. There's no reason to beat around the bush. They're out there, and it probably won't go well if you run into one. That's okay, because you're a huntsman. Or a huntress. And you've trained at one of the major academies, so you're probably fine. Just don't get yourself overrun by a pack of them. Now, after a long day of killing Grimm and saving the world, you're going to probably want to stop at a small town inn. Small villages dot the land between the major cities. You might ask, with the wilderness being so dangerous, why not just live in the big cities? Well, that life isn't meant for everyone. These small towns are founded by people that have a problem with the kingdoms, or don't want to deal with the kingdom's problems, or maybe just enjoy the simpler life rather take their chances in the wild than in a kingdom. It goes about as well as you think. If the founders are smart, then there's a good chance these towns can survive for the same reason the kingdoms continue to. Natural barriers, strong defenses, and stubborn citizens. If you don't have at least a few of those, then you know, the chances of a town lasting more than a year isn't great. Unfortunately, it's not just the Grim running around ruining towns. No, Wandering not. bandits are another threat. Okay. These groups of usually fairly skilled fighters travel the lands, never settling in one place. They often prey on convoys, sending goods between kingdoms. That's not all. These raiders will often wait for a town to be at its weakest, maybe after a grim attack or while its fighters are out hunting, before finally moving in at night and striking. Bunch of jerks. The worst part is, if the Grim hadn't attacked before, you'd better be damn sure they will now. You can't exactly have bandits raid your town without at least a few negative emotions. This is also why bandits never stay in the towns they conquer. With attitudes like the ones they have, Grim tend to be pretty interested in them as well. As long as they keep moving, they've got a better chance of surviving. Besides these small towns, the areas between kingdoms really depend on the continent. Harsh deserts, icy tundras, lush forests, you name it. At this point, pretty much every inch of remnant has been mapped out. Although there are some that areas cool that graphic. no one's gone into and come out alive. And of course, somewhere out there is where she is. Okay, hold up. She? Who's she? She could be Ruby? Though I was pretty sure that Uncle Crow was keeping tabs on Ruby. Um, could he be talking about Raven? Because we know she's just out there somewhere. Um, uh, Ruby, why, why must you play the pronoun game with me? I don't like it. I don't like it. It's ominous. I kind of hope this leads into um, the topic of the next episode, since we kind of don't really have a guess of what the next episode will be. Um, 
I really would like to find out what happened to Raven, if, if that's who Crow's referring to, which seems the most likely. Um, geez. I mean, it's so interesting to learn about the kingdoms and Remnant and everything, but... <sighs> Volume 4, it's just so damn depressing. Well, hopefully the next episode of Ruby won't be too heart-wrenching. Um, I'm not going to be able to react with my um, friends as usual, as I will be on break. And therefore staying at home under my parents' supervision. But you may get to see my sister. She may be cool with being on camera, so. Um, thank you guys for watching so much. Um sticking with me. Um, I love you all and I hope to see you in the next video.